How's it going, Critter Family? I hope you all are doing well. Today we are looking at a video by the one and only dog bully, Joel Beckman. Somebody requested that I look at this video. It is titled, Rough Play Can Lead to Fights. Learn when, how, and why to stop rough play before it's too late. Now, one thing I will agree with him on is, yes, rough play and play in general can lead to fights. Um, when how and why are very important questions to ask about, you know, when it refers to stopping rough play. I don't ever recommend that you stop any rough play or interact with any dog in this manner, unless you're fighting for your life and this dog is not attacking him. Um, so we're just gonna hit play and see how it goes. If you like him and you want to subscribe to him, then go do that. I'm not going to tell you not to. I just don't recommend anything he does. And? Oh, it's a big game. Adonis would do that I'm too if I, was to trying to, if I was trying to catch him, you know, or, or, you know, do anything and take him out for a walk even. He just didn't like, <laughs> didn't like going for walks, basically. He was happy to, you know, once he was out there, but when he was, uh, the process of getting him harnessed up, you know, he just... He would always run away and he would, you know, go belly up and he would just be, you know, a goofy little dude and run around do zoomies. Humping. We have white dog is a humper. The other white dog is a sometimes humper. Let him in. One is intact. The other is not intact. Then we have a female in the mix. Humping. You might look it up. You might hear a lot of different things. Here's how you eliminate humping. You punish. Okay. So before he goes into what to do about it. Humping, it's important to understand why dogs do it um, so that we can, you know, prevent things from, from happening anyway. Um, a lot of times dogs will hump because they're overly excited. So humping is not necessarily a sexual thing unless we have, you know, a female and a male uh, that are both intact, meaning they have not been neutered or spayed. Um, they still have their reproductive organs. So humping can, you know, come from that. You know, you'll see a lot of the young dogs who are sniffing girls who are, are maturing or possibly soon to come into heat. Um, and a lot, a lot of young boy dogs will start air humping um, or just humping the female. You know, they, they may not understand why, but their body's telling them what to do. A lot of times humping, though, will come from overexcitement when the dogs are just overly excited and that's just what they do. That's just how they get some extra energy out. It doesn't mean it's okay. It doesn't mean it's it's appropriate in the human world. Or even in the dog world, you know, a lot of times dogs will tell the other dog off, which I'm fine with, as long as they end it at that. If they say, hey, dude, back off, they give an air snap, they show teeth, or they just growl, or they just say, hey, dude, back off, and the other dog moves away, and we end it there, fine. But if they go into a full-on fight, we don't want that. So, he says, to punish it, always punish it. Let's learn how he chooses to correct this behavior. Pumping. You operantly punish humping. You mark and correct. There's no positive reinforcement way to eliminate hum humping. That says him. Says this this guy that doesn't know anything about anything. Um, <clears throat> let alone positive reinforcement. The fact that he says everything like it's a fact. He says this is what you do and this is how you do. I suggest things. I'm not going to tell you that this is the only way to do it. There's, yeah, there's many ways to do it. There's more humane ways than, than other ways. If you don't want to hurt your dog and you don't want to put your dog in a position where they may react badly, like what he's probably going to do, then I suggest, I highly suggest that you use a method of positive reinforcement to teach your dog to not hump. I would redirect. So I always say, don't correct, redirect, because you don't need to correct. You're just wasting time. You're ruining the bond with your dog. Redirect, redirect, redirect. So I would make a clappy noise or a kissy noise, or I would, I would make a loud noise if they were in the middle of humping and I would calm away. Or I would just go over there, take the dog, walk them away. If they continue to hump the other dog, then I'm going to put the, the humper on leash and they're just going to be around me for a little while. Then I let go of the leash. I'd let them drag it around. If they go back to humping, then I would probably just separate the dogs for a little while. Um, or for, you know, a period of time until the humping stops. If a female was going into heat or, or wasn't, whatever. Okay. That's how I would do it is simply separate the dogs. You don't, that's how you can correct it. If you want to call it a correction, 
you separate the dogs. You don't have to do all this Neanderthal macho guy nonsense that Joel is going to show you. You don't have to do that. But he says, you know, oh, you have to do this. You have to do that. There's no positive reinforcement way to stop pumping. Yeah, there is. Separate the dogs. They will say, well, don't let your dog around other dogs. Oh, no, lure we won't. Them off when they we won't say, I won't say, to lure the dog off another dog. I won't say to not let them around other dogs. I will say, keep them away from that dog that they keep humping. Or I will take them, remove them from the situation. You know, say they're over here humping. I will take them and I will either, you know, put a leash on them or take them by the collar of the harness and gently lead them Oh, what? Yes, gently lead them away over here. Hold on to them for a second and then let them go. If they go right back to humping, I'm going to put them on leash and they're going to come stand with me or sit with me. And we're going to be outside of this little play area. They go to hump. No, these are adult dogs. I am not doing redirection when there is a unwanted behavior. There's well, no then you're an idiot. Adult dogs still have the mindset of a puppy compared to the wolf, compared to their, their ancient ancestors, their ancient ancestors that were like 25,000 years ago when they first started coming into evolution. There are always puppies. I don't care if it's a 10-year-old dog, a 12-year-old dog, a 22-year-old dog. They still have the mindset of a puppy, which is why we're able to manipulate them so easily. Pain involved in my mark and punish. I'm going to when they hump and let me go back to. There's no pain involved in my mark and punish. I'm going to when they hump and we got to just get them in the mix, Carly. Well, it says uh, says you says that that there's no pain. I mean, I'm not saying I, we don't know that there's no pain. The dog cannot tell us if there's pain. I mean, it, just because they're not yelping, there's an emotional change when there's when when you correct them um, and not correct or punish. It's punish. It's punishment. Like I said, if you want to call it a correction by taking the dog away, fine, it's a correction. You can't say that you're not causing pain. We don't know if you are, but you're causing, you're scaring the dog. You could be causing pain, otherwise how else does it work? If you stop and you punish, punish is to cause something. Un, you know, the, the dog finds dislike so much that they will stop a behavior, which is reinforcing. Humping is reinforcing in itself. So I either take them away and reinforce elsewhere or I separate them to prevent that from being practiced and reinforced or you punish. Um, when they hump, I'm going to clap, which is a marker and a shocker. Then I'm going to grab the culprit and I'm going to sit or you are going to say, go do it again. Go hump the dog. All that is the doing... stupidest thing I've ever heard. Actually, it's not. I've heard much dumber things, but he says I or you. So he's telling you what to do. He's not saying this is what I do. I mean, yes, I would like to tell people, don't do this. Don't, don't, you know, do what I do. I'm just not going to do that. I, I, I will say I highly suggest and I stand by it when I say don't do this. And I don't suggest you do this. Please don't. But everybody has their own mindset. You know, I mean, I, I, I'm not trying to tell you that my way is the only way. The way I train is as humane as I can possibly be. And I get longer lasting results than what this dummy does. And it's not my way. It is, I use positive reinforcement. It is a method I use. It's not, I didn't create it. But by him saying, you correct and then you set them up for failure again. That's him telling you he's failed and he wants you to be a failure just like him. So if you want to be a failure like him, listen to him. This until you see the behavior start to drop off, then you know it's working. And also, if only anything when you're else around happens during this session or during this video, then I will address it on the video. Come on, guys. No humpers in the mix. You guys don't feel like humping. So see, that's Someone the, the problem with his his the method he uses, which is po you know punishment. I just call it compulsion. Um, the method he uses relies on the dogs doing a behavior, which means he has failed to reinforce better behavior. So this right here, they're not humping. Great. But he has to wait until they do, which is dumb. Um, and, and people char, you know, 
people pay him two thousand dollars a lesson for one hour for this joker to to wait for a dog to practice a bad behavior just so he could correct it so he could stroke his own ego and feel more powerful versus rewarding these dogs and reinforcing the fact that they're not humping this guy is a moron and people pay him two thousand dollars one hump somebody Okay. I wouldn't do that. So, this guy's being too much for her. We can't have that. Okay? They're both accosting her. He has not humped. He has not been too much being Bogey the white one. There's this two one, white ones. Biting at the neck, so we're going to let him know he can't do that. Then we're going to let him go, and we're going to say, go do it again. This is basically, this method is for any behavior we do not like. I grabbed him. I touched him. You are I an absolute idiot and you are dangerous. Okay, I'm going to straight up say, don't do this. Please don't do this. I try to be nice, but no, don't do this. Don't go grab your dog. Don't go grab a dog, especially a dog you don't know. Don't grab any dog like this. Stop doing this. Joel, stop promoting it. You're an idiot and you're dangerous and you're going to get a lawsuit if you haven't already at some point. I'm palming a basketball under the neck. And I held him there for a while because I think he was super obnoxious to her. If you want to become a dog trainer and help people with aggressive dogs, think don't about exactly listen to this guy. Do not listen to this guy. I don't care what he has to say. We're going to fast forward. You're going to let a lot go. You're going to get let 90% of things go, but you're going to pick these few things. If for this session, I was, it was humping, but then it became this guy being too much for her. So we have two dogs, males that are right intact, it looks thing. like. The, right thing the female, I don't think, is intact. Continual play. I am not going to cruise around here and go, oh, Bogey, you haven't been humping. Bogey, you're so good to See, not be humping. See, he has so little of a bond with this dog that as soon as he touches it, the dog moves away from him. <laughs> I find that very funny. Like, he does, oh... He's sniffing. She's going into submissive posture. Now, I would call him away after a while. She's actually. I thought I saw a lip lick from her, but I would call Bodhi or Bogey away um, because he's kind of invading her space and she's trying to be respectful. So I would call him away. Um, he says, learn when and how and why to stop right before it's too late. I start, I, I prevent it now. I start calling him away now when he's in her space, when she's laying down, they're not on even level playing ground. And if she's a, more of a submissive dog, I don't want any other dog learning to take advantage of a submissive dog. Just because they go down like that doesn't mean they're inviting you. But it looks like they are to the a dog that doesn't have a whole lot of manners or doesn't realize, hey, this dog doesn't really want you over here, but they're trying to be less threatening. They're trying to show you they're not a threat. Fine. Maybe she's not, so I can correct the behavior if she's not comfortable. She doesn't seem too terribly comfortable, that, and she's moving away. She's looking for comfort from him because, you know, she chose to go between his legs like that. There's there's pressure there. She feels a little bit uh, safer. Um, just like uh, if you've ever seen um, the those cattle crush, not, they're not cattle crush. I, they might call them a cow crush, whatever. It's, um, it's, it's a metal thing that when the cow goes through it, it presses against it because that's supposed to keep the cow a little bit more calm. Um, same thing with this, you know, dogs move into pressure and they feel more He's comfortable. into her. You're a good girl. You're a good girl. So we had another ad. Okay. Okay. So she, she told him off. She's not comfortable. He's not listening. So again, I'm not going to wait for her to have to, to tell him off a second time. I would take him and walk him away. But this idiot here wants to wait until it's almost a fight so that way he can get away with his bully technique. Ah. And so, I mean, it worked out. He didn't have to go after the dog, but he's also a dummy because he's waiting for his moment of glory, which is failure. Missed. So, this, this, I get it. So she's saying she doesn't, I'm going to change the session at this point. Because of the constant between the legs, she's not comfortable with any of it. Okay? She's, do I think, leave it. He wasn't even humping her. 
But because he failed, this dog is avoiding him now because of the correction he gave it. So now this dog wants to be with, uh, with, I'm assuming this is their owner. So because he failed in his method of failure, he's just going to correct the dog anyway. Oh, oh he knows. Way yeah. too late. aggressively sit. dig into the right, dog because the rip. dog doesn't sit because the dog doesn't care about you because you're a moron because you're a failure Break what just happened down i figured out oh, still doesn't care about you she is. So i kind of let stuff go and her trying to get between our legs because i was like um i was like god we got to see the behavior i'm trying to find no you don't need to see the behavior be very clear with humping is is the criteria the dog for can't punishment breathe. for this guy or for a correction we didn't see any humping. So then I changed the criteria because of her uncomfortableness. I said, okay, I'm going to mark and correct or mark and punish oh. anything that she's uncomfortable with. Can't breathe. Then I saw her get un uncomfortable or he did something. I clapped and then he avoided. But then if you notice, <laughs> after so the avoid, I was going to go get him. But then he came to me. I'm not going to punish a voluntary come to me. You did, though. The track you did, though. You just did. You grabbed him because he knew what it was. You followed through. And then you forced a sit because you can't even teach a dog sit without forcibly grabbing them by the throat and the jowls and forcing them up. You're a failure. And people say, oh, all you do is bully people. I bully people who bully dogs. I give them a taste of their own medicine. I I'm call them out for I'm what they are. Punish the behavior. But then he came to me. So and you I still punished him. Let up a little bit, and I said, "Okay, you, you can." Oh, here we go. I don't think she likes this. So then, don't trap dogs in an area like that. And oh, it's a big game. It's not going to be a big game when I get him. It is. It's, they're it's hiding be behind the, the camera person. Just work on the, just the camera. It's the opposite. Oh, so now he's hanging the dog against the fence. When I get him. Okay? Now, let's see if it's a big dog game can't again when I get this dog. Okay? Abusive bully. Let's see how this dog interacts with that dog. Let's see how this dog interacts with That's me. That's why this dog has no that. bond with him. Oh my gosh, Joel. You were so mean to the dog. You are. You're abusive. <sighs> he's an adult, new, un intact... So? Male dog it doesn't is matter. harassing this dog and thinks life's a big game. <laughs> oh, so he should be serious. He needs to get a real job by now because he's 18 years old. Stop anthropomorphizing it, you moron. You are excusing animal abuse. You're a compulsion trainer. You're a failure. Stop trying to make an excuse for you bullying and abusing animals that won't fight back. Try this on a wild horse. They would kill you. Try this on, on a Shiba. On my Shiba. <laughs> he wouldn't let you get away with that nonsense. But he wouldn't be... I would never have him around you. That hurt zero. You don't know zero that. No, 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 no. Actually, it did hurt enough. Because you're, you're digging into him like this. This is my own pressure against my neck. Yeah, to a point where it's it's just barely bearable. So I don't know how hard you were. You got this dog and slammed him and hung him against the fence for a period of time. Even for a few seconds. Don't tell me that's not painful. Otherwise, why did he not play around with you then like he did a second ago when you were holding onto his collar? He was licking you and moving around. But when you pinned him up against the wall or the fence, he wasn't doing any of that. Don't tell me it's not painful. Liar. Dog is avoiding him. It's serious with your guys' dogs. No, it's not. They're not little babies. It she doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if he's a baby or not. It's abuse, 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 abuse. That's all it is. That's all he teaches you is to be a bully and bully your animal that won't fight back. And he gets away with it, and he charges $2,000 an hour. I don't know what ungodly amount he charges for board and train. I feel so bad for this dog. 
any dog in his care, really. Full-grown adult who is doing something I don't want him to do. When so that's dog... not an excuse for you to go in and, and, and beat up and bully and corner a dog because they're doing a behavior that you're a failure. You don't know how to, how to solve that without using violence. You're doing this. It's time to get serious, guys. And forget all the nonsense of what you've heard about. You don't think dogs are little babies. People don't think dogs are little babies, but they treat then they treat them like little babies. Two-year-old So dog. he's telling you, you know, forget what you heard about positive reinforcement. Educated people that are humane and are not failures because we don't rely on, on failure of training to train the dog. We don't teach the dog to fail, therefore we fail ourselves. We actually teach the dog what to do, and we never have to put hands on a dog ever. I can absolutely teach this dog to stop pumping without ever putting hands on them. And without even, uh, also without even using food. I can use toys. I mean, I can use my body. I can use other things. I'm not just stuck to just using food forever. If you, you know, if you have to use food forever, then you're failing the, the, the theory of positive reinforcement. You know, that's what fading the lure is. That's what fading the treats out for real life reward is. So you don't have to use food forever. If you do, then that's great. I mean, with my Shiba, I used food all the time. I mean, it wasn't always there. Like, it, it, you know, it was, it depended on the situation. But if I was teaching him something, then yeah, absolutely, I would use treats. I mean, he got, he, he lived a great life and we had a great bond. Something that this guy, this joker, will never understand. So, I don't want to watch him corner this dog again. The dog's... I don't want to watch him corner this dog again. You know, I think I've gone on long enough. So let me know what you think about this video. Um, what you think of this Joker. In the meantime, go say how to do to your little critters. Say how to do for me. Give them some kind of love and they appreciate. Until next time, practice peace, patience, and positivity.